you want to tell us this joke? Yeah, it's a little dad joke. So, it's two cowboys, right? And they're they're starving to death. And they're out in the middle of the desert. They're on their horses. They're starving. And uh, they look out into, like, into the sunset, and they see a bacon tree, right? So there's this bacon tree, and they both notice it, and they're like, there's a bacon tree over there, so they rush to get to it so they can eat. But when they get there, a bunch of shooting happens, and they both die. But it wasn't a bacon tree. It was a ham bush. That was terrible. <laughs> All right, look. A I goddamn got a ham bush. I got a jump, too. <laughs> Why is it impossible to starve in the desert? Mm. I don't know. Oh, it's something to do with dessert. No? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because of the sandwich is there. <laughs> <laughs> really simple. Just, it, it, you know. Super I got one. Didn't put a lot of hype around it. I got one. So there's these two farmers. <clears throat> they live out in Kentucky. In I swear, if this punchline is a ham bush. <laughs> <laughs> the two farmers live out in uh, Kentucky. They're, they're farming and... They're just old at this point. They're about 60-something. They're just like, man, we're, we're just too old for this. We're tired of doing this. I want to you know, get one of those fancy jobs where I can sit at home or sit on a computer and, and work. So I got it. So there's a guy. One of them is uh, Bob Bill and it's Tim. Tim is like, dude, that does sound good. I want to do that, right? Bob was like, yeah, you know what? I need to learn how to work a computer. I need to learn how to. I need to go to school, go back to college. Or go to college, because I've never been before, and learn a skill like that so I can get one of these jobs. He said, like, you know what? I'm going to go to the college, the community college tomorrow and see if, the, if I can sign up for some classes or something. So Tim is like, oh, yeah, do that, dude. Like, let, Go do that and let me know what you hear, because I might want to do the same thing. And maybe we can work together. You never know. So the next day, Bob goes to community college. He's um, talked to the uh, secretary and said, hey, I'm trying to sign up for some classes, but I've never been here before. I don't know how this works. I, I graduated high school, but I don't remember anything. I've been a farmer all my life. I just work. The lady's like, well, here's a, a list of the courses we have, and you can check them out and see what you like. He's looking through the list, and he's like, I don't understand any of this stuff. It's really hard. Like, I want you to understand, I'm starting from scratch. So she calls a dean he's in the office next door he comes over and he's like hey i heard you were trying to get into community college and was trying to figure out where to start and you don't understand anything about these classes he's like yeah man i'm sorry i'm just i'm old you know i'm really old and i, I i'm just tired of working i want to work i want to work from home or work on a computer or something what do i need what do i need to do and the dean's like well here here you go here's a few of the classes you can take so we have <coughs> classes like um, psychology 101. Something simple. You can learn about how the brain works. He's like, okay, that, that, I don't know if I'm interested in that. He said, like, how about this one? We have a logic class. He said, logic? What's, I don't know. I've never heard a class called logic. That just sounds self explanatory, right? He said, like, yeah, let me explain it to you. The way it works is, how about this? I'll give you a better example. You tell me this. I'll ask you a question and you answer. So he asked the guy, he asked Bob, he says, so do you have a lawnmower? Bob's like, yeah, I do have a lawnmower. What does that have to do with the logic class? He's like, well, here's how it works. Logically, because you have a lawnmower, I assume you have a front yard, a yard, right? He said, like, yeah, I do have a yard. That was pretty neat. I see what you did there. He said, but I'm not done yet. He says, since you have a front yard, I assume logically that you have a house. You own a house, right? Bob was like, I do own a house. I see where you're going with this. Yeah, he's, the dean says, yeah, so you have a house, so I assume you have a family. He said, yes, I, I do have a family. So you have a wife, right? He said, yeah, I do have a wife. This is pretty neat. And so the dean's like, all right, cool. So just by me asking that you have a lawnmower, I assume you have a front yard. I assume that you have a house. And I assume you have a family, I assume you have a wife, which therefore, just by me asking one question, logically speaking, you are heterosexual. He says, yeah, I am. <laughs> Dude, that was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool. I, I think I'm going to sign up for this class. <clears throat> 
So he signs up for the logic class along with some simple stuff like math and, and um, English and things like that, right? He goes back home, and there's Tim sitting on his front porch because, you know, they sit on the front porch drink beer after working all day. Mm-hmm. Tim's like, dude, I've been waiting for you all day. What happened? Tell me all the news. He's like, dude, I signed up for some classes. I'm so excited. I'm going to be working from home in no time. He said, like, oh, yeah, what did you find out? What classes did you sign up for? He said, well, I signed up for stuff like math and, and science and stuff, but here, there's this class called Logic. It's, it's so cool. Let me tell you about it. And he's like, okay, I'm ready. What, what's it all about? Bob's like, Tim, do you have a lawnmower? <laughs> Tim's like, I don't. Bob's like, well, then you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cairo from Storytellers Podcast. If you like watching our video, you can see more on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to support the channel outside of YouTube, you can always use Patreon. Remember, like, share, subscribe. And if you feel like listening to us at work or in the car, remember, you can always use Spotify or Apple Podcasts.